What's going on guys? What's up everybody? Today we are back at CSP again and uh, we're gonna do a little mod to the twin turbo Camaro. I'm actually gonna be installing it today but the reason um, here is because the car is here so um, yeah I, I wanted to get this part on and do a video for you guys but the only way to do it was to come here so uh, normally I'd be doing it in my garage so here we are. Here we are. Let's get to it. So, we're gonna head in here. We got our matching mugs. Lauren, look. Show, show them your, your cool mug, too. Oh, she, got, she got one, too. The Z01. Um, they're like, they're kinda like, uh, what? Those Yeti mugs? Yeah, but better, because they... Why? Because I said they're better than a Yeti because they fit in the cup holders. Yeah, they do. They fit in the cup, truck cup holders, and I like, this is like a little tinted like glass thing here, or like hard plastic thing. Honestly, it does keep your drinks really, really nice and cold. Yo! What's up? I figured. And we're wearing the uh, Send It t-shirt today. That's right. You guys can get those at determinedgettingzl1.com slash store. It's below in the description. It is, Lauren. See who's man? Oh, no one's man in the desk because Alex is still on vacation. What's up? I'm coming. I've come here to install a part on my car. Rain? Is it supposed to rain? What's that? Here is that six. your camera? What is that thing? That's what is a that? DJI tripod, man. Oh, is, is that the? Uh... What's up, Wait, girl? how does that work? Oh, okay. Oh. oh, okay. I thought that was a gimbal. I thought it was a gimbal no, at first. I, didn't bring the gimbal. I did my whole last video on that. It's so much better quality. Oh, yeah. This is the six, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this is how I started out with my little my little tripod slash holder. It was the Go the GoPro makes one too, but this one's better. So, what's the next video on it? Uh, I'm doing the. Uh, it's going over the car and then street ride. Yeah. Beating it up. The manor cooler came in today, so that'll be the following video. Okay. Have you decided on your channel name yet? I'm just leaving it as the boosted one. The boosted one, it, but it's all one word, right? Or it's two spaces. Oh, there's spaces. Okay. Boosted one. So I can't you find. Doesn't even own a boosted car. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so the car is in the other shop. Well, the other the other section of the shop. Oh crap! Now it's. it's of course, it starts to rain as soon as we want to go back outside. It looks like. Wait, like two yeah, minutes. we're gonna wait because there's that dark cloud is moving over top of us. So, yeah, skipping the gym tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna have the guys. They're actually empty. Perfect. Look at that. Two minutes later. <laughs> Stopped enough that we can walk over without getting drenched. The car is in the other, the other shop, the other part of the shop. Alrighty. This is where we're doing it at, yes. <laughs> Why, what's wrong? You could do it on the dusty concrete, but it ain't gonna be fun. Lauren, what do you need? I need my purse. Oh. Yeah, just get the nineties on so we can actually close the hood. That way. That's the part that, if you look on this side, we didn't have a 90 degree fitting to go, so it was just sticking straight up. And obviously the hood doesn't close like that, but that's how we dined at it last video. Yeah, that looks nice. It's gonna look a hundred times better. Yeah, so now you can see what it looks like. The 90, and it'll fit that way too. See, the oil pressure sensor's in here, and that's where that G1 Pro adapter is, so that this line's only gonna be this long. What's oh, instead of this going all the way down, oh, go so right it just goes here. and tees right to there, yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm not gonna do that now because then we'll have a giant oil leak when we try and drive it. This will just be un under all that, or what, how you, yeah, gonna... we'll tuck it like where it was, yeah. Underneath. So, here's the main attraction of the video. The part in this box barely weighs anything. It's something that I've been waiting to get and something I actually optioned my car with and it didn't come with it because they, uh, they, they were pushed out of production when I got this car and I was unable to order it on, uh, you know, with everything else. So that's what's in this box right now. Alrighty. So. It is the carbon fiber dash insert for the uh, six gen Camaro. This will fit on any Camaro, any six gen Camaro, I should say. Um, but you can option these out as of now, when you buy your car, you can get this uh, insert on the dash. I, like I said, was not able to do that. I did order it, 
like that, but they uh, pushed the uh, pushed it back, pushed the order back. These weren't in production at the time, so had to buy it separately. But it's gonna go right over there in place of the microfiber suede, as they like to call it, dash. And I thought it looked pretty cool, especially with the uh, carbon fiber steering wheel that I just got put on uh, not too long ago by Wild Hammer Motorsports. They did that steering wheel for me. And they also sent me one of these too. So they have all these cool carbon fiber parts for your car if you guys are interested. What do you think? Think that'll look good? Is that an OEM part? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You can buy your car with that on it, but but like I said, I, I ordered my car like that. It just wasn't didn't come like that because some, for some reason they pushed the parts back and you couldn't order that. You had to wait. So. I like it, especially since you have the. Yeah. How's the airbag come out on that car? The airbag? Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's a good question, Eric. I know where the airbags come out in my other car, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right here it says Almost airbag. The top, this whole yeah. thing probably, well, I'm not sure where the airbags come out. Comment below if you guys have been an experience where the uh, passenger side airbag came out. Okay, so, installation. There's one bolt, yeah. I don't know, how do you get to that bolt? I think you gotta take the infotainment off. No way. The hilarious thing about making a YouTube video is using another YouTube video to uh, install a part on your YouTube video. So, Eric, we're gonna start off by pulling this bezel off, yeah. and apparently it's supposed to pop you in the face when it find, comes off. Find the seam. It doesn't come off smoothly, apparently. Right. Clearly not. It's really tight. <laughs> what? Jesus. Jesus. Dude, that's ridiculous. Those things, man. That's it's easy to put together. Ridiculous. Look at that. Easy. Okay, so we got one part off. Next step. So, now that, that piece is off, there's two screws on either side that need to be loosened. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, they were pulling this down now. Oh, oh. The... yep. There we go. Now that's out. After you get both of those out, and you move the infotainment system to the side, this one here is the uh, the, the dash insert screw, so that has to come out now too. Okay. So, we've gotten to this step, and all we do is pry this uh, dash piece out. Those plastic clips in there that everybody hates, I hate because I feel like I'm breaking, breaking stuff when I Pull it out. Alrighty. And that's that. There you go. So you can see all those clips. And there's the uh, there's the dash. And that's it, guys. That's how that's that's done. It's done now. Looks good. Leave it like that. <laughs> Leave it just like that. We'll put the air vent back in. That's about it. Now it's time. Howdy. Oh hey, what's up? What's up? How's it going? Just uh installing a, a carbon fiber dash piece on my car. You must really like this drive. Real fancy. I don't, but <laughs> hey, I drove all this way just for a carbon fiber dash. Let's see if we can pop that out there, Eric. That's apparently it just gets pushed out. Oh, you son of a! You need another hand see to hold like more of the tabs. Let's see if I can manage to do one in good. Here. Oh wow, that was. That's it. No, no. That was really easy. Wow, that's it. Yep. Magic. Perfect. Look at that. It's not like it was from GM or anything. Yeah, it's not like GM made this product at all. So, this should be as simple as just pushing it back in. Just ninja kick it. Yes, like Eric said, ninja kick it. Didn't really snap in. Yeah, I was expecting some... But it... Some pop. Oh, wow. Did that just pull out that easy? I'm gonna floor it one day and it's gonna come out and hit Lauren in the face. That's good. That's in. Infotainment. This like has got hooks. Hey, what does it have? Hooks? Yeah, look at the top. They're like. Oh yeah. There you go, guys. Just so you know, it's got hooks. So you gotta, gotta hook it up first, and then slide it down in there. So there's that nice carbon fiber piece. Look at that. That's 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 pretty right there. Last step. It's not as exciting as when we pulled it off. Carbon fiber dash install complete. It's complete by Complete Street Performance. <laughs> <laughs> and that piece, maybe I'll sell, or maybe I'll give it away. Matches the carbon fiber steering wheel that Andrew doesn't like because it doesn't, it's not heated. Andrew's a princess and needs hot steering wheels to, to warm up his cold hands, his little baby Wait, hands. Street. Puts on driving gloves. <laughs> yeah guys, so uh, carbon fiber dash is installed thanks to Wild Hammer Motorsports. Those guys are pretty awesome. 
and that's where they uh, they make those steering wheels as well. I had the uh, the suede. That's what I wanted, so it matched the interior with uh, with the difference the suede seats and then the door panels and everything like that. Add suede, and, delete suede. Yeah, add suede, delete suede. But we also added carbon fiber and added carbon fiber. Uh, mm. see what you're doing here. I think the car is, has a decent mix of carbon fiber and suede now. Pulls the dash in, I think it looks nice. I wish I could show you a better lit view of the interior, but this is all I got right now, guys, is a cell phone light. It does show off the carbon fiber, though, when you light it up like that. So yeah, that carbon fiber piece is definitely badass. I absolutely love it. It took me a while to actually get one, uh, but once I met Wild Hammer Motorsports and uh, started talking to those guys and working with those guys, it was definitely a no-brainer to get one, so if you guys are interested in that or the steering wheel that's on that car, definitely check those guys out. They'll hook you up with one. What do you guys think of it? You think it looks cool? Yes? No? I mean, like I said before in the video, that's what I wanted on my car when I originally got it, but I wasn't able to order it because those, those parts were uh, delayed for some reason, so I just got the regular dash panel. But before we end the video, uh, and definitely stay till the end because we got some cool information uh, about the last video that we just found out. But uh, before we get to that, I want to give a shout out to a few people here that sent me some stuff in my P.O. box. And uh, the first thing here that we're going to mention is uh, 750 North went to the YouTube call out in Galat, North Carolina. And he sent me a little thank you card, which is pretty cool. And he said, you know, thanks for putting on another great event. And that's pretty awesome. That's, I've never gotten a thank you card for these events. But uh, I do have some cool information coming for you guys for these next few events. And... They are going to take a drastic change and are going to be, I mean, so much better than the last four events that we did. And I can't wait to really tell you guys about it. I haven't, I'm not going to say anything yet, but we got some awesome stuff in the works for you. And we're going to involve a ton of people and it's just going to be, it's just going to be an awesome event. Actually, I should say awesome set of events that we, we are planning. Definitely stay tuned in the near future for that. And a familiar name from the P.O. Box, Mike Joe. He sent me a birthday card. So this is actually the uh, this is actually the only birthday card I got in my PO box, and uh, that's pretty awesome. I really appreciate that, man. And he guys sent me a little Texas Roadhouse gift card, which is great because I love steak, and this is perfect. Party like someone else is cleaning up after you. I'd say that's uh, pretty good words of wisdom right there. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Those of you guys that didn't know, I turned 31 on July 25th. I know some people think I'm still in my 20s but I'm actually in my 30s. Now this last one we're gonna mention here is from Myers. Your envelope got ripped here, and it came in one of these, uh, I think that's the first time I've seen this, the USPS kind of We Care packages, like your, your, I don't know, your envelope fell apart and like they've taken that into consideration and have rushed your shipment. So I'm, I'm hoping this is all here. Uh, if not, let me know. Contact me through Instagram or something and we'll figure something out. But it looks, seems to be all here. And it looks like he sent me, it's actually a painted glass guy with American flag behind it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if it'll come into focus there. Looks like a pilot. Now the only note I really have here says, hey, my name is Myers. I love your videos, keep up the good work. Nothing else really to it. So Myers, if you have a story about this, maybe you'd like to share with me or the viewers, definitely uh, hit me up on Instagram and I will share that in the next video. But as of now, I mean, this is really cool. I really appreciate that. That's pretty awesome. So thanks guys for sending me stuff in my PO box. If you would like to send me something and have a chance for the shout out in a video, check in the description. I have all my PO box info below. So here's some awesome information I just found out about the car. Last video, we dined in the twin turbo ZL1 and it made about 900 wheel horsepower. Andrew had called me or texted me a few days after that and said he was reviewing the logs and he realized that the boost was dropping off of the top end, not because of the restriction on the exhaust, but because the throttle body may have been closing, which means the boost would have kept going and kept making more power, way well over 900 horsepower. Eric and I exchanged some words uh, at the shop, so I'll just let you guys watch that. So Andrew was saying how he thinks the throttle body was closing on the last dyno. I asked him this morning, he said it was closing to 74%. 74%, so. That probably has a lot to do with that boost drop up top. Yeah, okay. So initially we were talking about how it was the, uh, possibly a restriction on the, um, Still exhaust. maybe, but I expect a gain with an extra 26% of throttle opening. <clears throat> yeah, if the octane, I mean, if it has enough octane, right? Yeah, definitely. You think, you think it will? Octane. Yeah, I think we're gonna make more than 900. On 93? On 93 octane. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Lauren? 
What? You might make more than 900 on 93 octane. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty cool that uh, we may actually be making close to a thousand horsepower on just 93 octane. If I could hit a thousand horsepower with just 93 octane, that would be insane. Like that, I don't know, that'd just be cool to, I could pull up to any, any old gas station, most gas stations around here, uh, or around that I've been to have 93 octane, unless it's kind of like a, a little gas station out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe where you guys are from, you only have 91. Some people do have only 91, but most of the places I've been have 93, and that'd be awesome. No matter where I go, I could get, I can get gas and, and, and run a thousand horsepower instead of have to rely on E85 like the car behind me. You know, I, I make my numbers off of E85. That's, that's all I put in that car. And it's easy for me around here because I have gas stations that, that do carry that. But um, some places not local to me, they don't have E85. I don't know if you guys have it or not at your local gas stations. But uh, for me, it's not an issue either way. I just think it'd be cool to have a car that makes a thousand horsepower of just 93 octane. So hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have it in my next video. We're gonna do a few more dyno pulls with the car and see if we can correct that throttle body closing issue. And if we did, we can keep the throttle body open at 100% because right now it's closing at 74. So technically 26% of the throttle is being closed. You're closing some of that. Like that's a lot of power left on the table. So hey, if the octane's there and like just like Eric said, there's plenty of octane up top then. Let's do it. Let's see what it makes. So thanks again, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and have a great day.